The triplets are a month old. They're born out of the herd queen, the alpha, and the one that set the rules. So one of them got the wrong idea and thought that he was gonna follow the footsteps and take it a bit further, putting himself in a little bit of a problem by trying to stay out at night. So today, I'll tell you what really happened to this little naughty boy. Now, a couple of days ago, I put Annabelle's little boy over there and I'll tell you that as I show you what happened. But well, look, we have a new guest in the buck pen. <laughs> it's Annabelle's little boy. Oh my gosh. This little boy is driving me crazy. Come on. You guys get hay. In the water, apparently, you guys are out. Okay. You guys can all share in here, okay? Let me put it against the wall or you're gonna throw it. Move. Move. You can eat here with everyone. This little guy has been such a challenge. So, he was very scared of people all of a sudden. He was running around. He didn't want to go in at night. And it got to the point where I just couldn't catch him. And for a couple of nights I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I would have to recruit my family's help. Uh, a couple of nights I didn't have help and I really was struggling thinking, what am I going to do? And again, when I am doing things by myself at night or in the morning, it's when I start to realize the things that I'm, that are not great and the things that I need help with. And so there's nothing, Duke, there's nothing wrong with needing help, but there's a lot wrong if you don't have it. So um, I've decided that it was time that he spent some time with his dad and he's been here for today's gonna be his third day. He was in that process of I'm a jerk and I'm proud of it so he needed to be humbled. I put him in the humbling pen inside the mom's pen but he was still not um, he was just still not changing his behavior and the the worst part of his behavior was that he was so wild that I wasn't able to catch him. It was a couple of nights where I just couldn't catch him and it really is necessary for them to be locked up at night at least the babies at least the babies and it makes me feel better if the moms are inside um, the boys are together and as the term goes it's hard so they stick together and so for cats which is the one problem that we have here and I'm not saying bobcats but mountain lions or cougars uh, however you call them <laughs> but that is the bigger problem that we have here and if they stick together they typically don't attack them if they can see that one is staying on the side then that's a completely different story now the boys are smart enough to stay together they stay in inside the house and you don't see one of them stepping out of the house but this little guy as you can see he is just a month old but you wouldn't believe how skittish he was um, now he comes up to me he wants bed but I'm telling you spending time with dad and realizing you're not the biggest you're not the strongest therefore there's always going to be an alpha around you, so you should stop being a jerk. You know, that kind of works, so he's, he has two more days here and he's going back to mom. 
with this little boy is that he wouldn't go inside the house like I couldn't make him follow his mom to go inside to sleep once he was inside the house he wouldn't cry or anything and for a few nights I was able to catch him and put him inside now as they are getting older they're getting faster and smarter and they know how to run away from you so the problem that I was having was that this two nights I just couldn't catch him and in one of the nights I decided you know what I'm gonna teach him a lesson and I'm gonna leave, leave him outside because he really does suffer when nobody's outside he cries by the door but when I try to catch him he won't come near me I'm telling you some people are giving me so much crap for it but I'm telling you it works and as long as they're safe, as long as they're healthy, as long as they're gaining weight, um, being a little uncomfortable is not gonna kill them. He cries when I leave, look. I'll be back, I'll be back. I'll be back for little boys, okay? It's, everyone is scary to him here, even though they don't bully him. So anyways, I was like, okay, I'm gonna let him be outside. Then I was feeling bad because I'm like, he's not going to be nursing, he's going to miss his mom. So I ended up waiting for my daughter to come that night. We caught him, put him inside. Now that same night, my window was open. Then we were in bed with my husband and we started hearing this random call that we've never heard before. But I knew that there was something here in the back. So my husband is like, let me go check it out. So my daughter is gonna check on the babies um, because she's like, well, while you check the back, I'm gonna go check on the babies because it really sounded like one of the babies was in distress. And it could have been that they were scared that, you know, this animal was around and they could sense that something was wrong. But when my husband comes back, he points the flashlight to this area right there in the back and there it was it was a mountain lion that was pretty big my husband didn't know what it was at first because he saw the eyes but then he threw a rock being brave thinking that it was a raccoon or something and when he did then it moved and he could see clearly that it was a cougar or a mountain lion it's all right i'll be back later okay i promise two more days and then you can go back with your mama, okay? And she's gonna love you the same. She'll let nurse, she'll let you nurse, okay? See, people are not scary, even though you think they are. His giraffe pulled, so he does have some <laughs> nub looking things, but they're round, they never broke the skin. So I'm still, <laughs> I'm still thinking he is rough pole like his mom. Otherwise, that would be a bad on me, not you, because you're perfect. You are perfect. You just need a little humbling and you're almost there, okay? You're so stinking cute. People want friendly goats. Yes, so they can pet them and tell them how beautiful they are and you are very very beautiful my man and you're very very sweet now you know people are not scary people are not gonna be mean to you mm -hmm. I just wanna give you scratches and as soon as I step out to tell you the rest of the story, he's gonna cry for a bit. And then when I get out of sight, he'll resume eating, being a baby in the bunk bed. But he's fine, you can see there's no blood, nobody's suffering. He just really misses his mom and misses his sisters and being with the other kids. They're way more friendly. It's, see, he still, he still, you know, gets scared. I'm trying not to make sudden movements because that's how she, he gets really scared. And you're probably thinking, you're overdoing this. You don't need to do that. No, you don't. I do. 
because I am that kind of weirdo. I know. You're gonna go there, okay? You'll be there by Wednesday if you're if you're if you're a good boy, okay? You'll be there by Wednesday, and then you can hang out with your baby friends. You can headbutt Ash, your new friend, okay? You guys have been super super friendly. And Grams is working on a little area for baby goats to play. So maybe you love that too. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this was impossible. Two days ago, he'd be running from me. He'd be hating on me. Maybe it was that I left the little boy for too long outside. That could be one of the reasons why he was here. And he figured that now... It was the chance it was just a little boy he was outside he was crying he was being loud so he was you know getting all the attention from everyone really even us and um, so it could have been that that really made him or her get close to the goat uh, pen so anyways we I mean thankfully we put him inside but that was kind of my cue of, oh my gosh, I need to do something about it. So the humbling pen inside the mom's pen was not working. So I decided to take them to Rocky and that's take him to Rocky. And that's when this whole humbling process begins. Okay, I'll be back later. I'll bring a bottle that you won't want to drink. But I'll squirt it on your mouth and then you can drink from it, okay? I promise, it'll be so yummy. Oof, goodness gracious. I know. I'll be back and I'll be your friend, okay? No, you can't come with me. I'm sorry, baby. Go. I know. Couple more days. You're doing great. Way better than Ash. You're little smarty pants you know what you were do you you do know now what you were doing wrong you're okay go eat go eat Dom will make room for you go I shared a video on how it works so I'm not gonna go through it what's happening but if you're interested I'm gonna have it linked on top of the screen and in the description box down below so he's been there for a couple of days um, and he is a hundred percent better but he's pretty smart so I'm gonna let him stay for a couple more days today is Sunday I'm gonna let him stay with dad Monday and Tuesday and then I am going to put him back with mom on Wednesday he's only a month old he turned a month old last Thursday and I put him in with the boys on Friday so you know he is not old enough to be away from mom so I am pushing bottles I am trying my best he's not sucking but he is letting me kind of squirt the bottle in his mouth and so he's able to drink six ounces and one standing but in the beginning that little mosquito wants to bite me but in the beginning he wouldn't do more than half an ounce or an ounce and now he's got it now he loves me now he trusts me now I'm his best friend and you know why it's because nobody's his friend in there I mean Dom is super sweet to him he helps him eat and you know he, he snuggles actually with Dom inside the the house at night to sleep uh, he's kind of a big brother to him even though they're not related <laughs> and he is uh, a half brother to Taz but Taz wants nothing to do with him so you can see he's not shaking he was so skittish because he was so scared and that's typically what happens those are my ducks breeding okay that's a duck pen drama but um, but yeah 
there's more drama here in the buck pen. I told you from the beginning, Annabelle was very overprotective over him and he was being a jerk to the other boys, meaning Mocha's boys. And he was always picking up fights and then when he was tired fighting, he would go by his mom so his mom would take care of the little boys. So everyone is pretty much scared of him in the buck, in the girl's pen, all the babies are scared of him. So he was the boss, the big boss there, and now he's not. Is he realizing that it sucks to be at the, at the bottom of the barrel? The lower part of the herd, and I think that is what I call the humbling, when they realize that they're not what they think they are, and that they better start acting better if they want to be uh, loved, and if they want to be uh, accepted by the rest of the herd. If not, they're gonna have a pretty lonely, but very alpha kind of life. And that's what happens to Annabelle. Like I keep telling you guys that Annabelle needed a girl so she could snuggle with them. Everyone has a girl like Mocha with her twins and um, uh, Clara now with Athene. And you know, Annabelle never had a girl and now she has two girls and she sleeps by herself because that's the kind of goat she is. She's the alpha and she, nobody can stand near your majesty, you know? And so that kind of, it, and it really, and I'm gonna make a video about that, but it really shows how really the, even the character or even some of the traits of like characteristics or of a goats are passed on in the genes it's not only you know about otters or um, structure but also their personalities so